Hello students, it's your professor Dr. Mink and I'm creating this short video as a hint for the prime number program because I see some of you are struggling on getting started. Um, I'm not writing the entire program for you. If you write, if you submit a program that does exactly what this program does, it will be significantly incorrect. I am just going to write the inner loop, which determines if a number is prime. If you recall, you need an outer loop to go from three to the number entered and then drop each one of the iterations, each one of the counter iterations down to the inner loop, which actually determines if that number is prime and then prints it out. So here's my program running. I put a do while loop just because I want to be able to demonstrate it over and over again. So let's enter an integer two, two is prime, Yes, I want to do it again. That's the do while loop. Three. Yes, three is prime. Yes, again. Four will not be prime because it's an even number. Yes, again. Let's try um, thir 13. 13 is prime. Yes. Um, we believe 71 is a prime number. Let's try 81. That's not a prime number. So you see my program works uh, for any number entered. So let's take a look at the mechanics. I'm going to give you a peek at some of the mechanics uh, behind this program, actually the code. So we got IOStream using namespace standard, int main, obviously. Int number, that's the number stored. Care, answer yes. I put my do while loop. I ask the user to enter an integer, cn number. I declare a bool. I call my bool is prime and I set it to true. So this program will step through dividing the number entered by all of the numbers below it down to two. So if you enter five, it'll do two, three, four, two, three, and four. It'll divide five by two, divide five by three, divide five by four. If there's a remainder, then for all of those that it's prime. If at any point in time the remainder is zero, that means the number is divisible by another other, number other than itself and, and one. So I got a for loop and I'm going to go, I'm going to use a counter, n equals two, that's my starting point, n less than number minus one. So we're going to go, so if the number entered is 15, we're going to test from 2 to 14. And we're going to divide number by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, up to 14, n minus 1. And that will determine if the number is divisible by any number other than itself and 1. And if it is, there will be a remainder of 0, and we will set the bool is prime to false. It's real simple. Here's the body of that for loop. If number percent n, if number divided by whatever the counter is, 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, up to n minus 1, or number minus 1, I mean. If it's ever equivalent to 0, that means the number is not prime. So we set is prime to false. After this thing loops and it finishes, if is prime is still true, that means it didn't find any number that evenly divided into the number, any number between 2 and the number minus 1. So that's how this works. When this is all done, you just have to look at if the bool is true, right? Then the number's prime. Yeah. Spit out being, I'm sorry, print out being via C out, the number is prime. Else, spit out, print out, the number is not prime. Okay, I'm going to put this up in the timeline. I'll notify everybody via email, and I hope it's helpful. Thanks, and have a great day. Of course, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. And once again, this is not what your finished program looks like. This is just a hint to help you with the mathematics involved in the inner loop, determining if the number currently being inspected 
is pride. Take care.